Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 2nd through to the 8th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Tower reversed. Next, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, followed then by the Five of Wands upright. And lastly, the Six of Swords in the upright position. So for your overall energy, Taurus, you have the Ace of Wands. Okay, there is a strong desire to start something new, fun, exciting. Um, that's what the Ace of Wands is all about. And Aces usually usher, usher in some kind of new beginning, new start for you this week. Um, Leo, this could be a passionate new relationship for some of you. For others of you, this could represent a passionate new idea something that's really exciting it could be something such as a new business or an opportunity to start your own business it could be an opportunity to travel it could be an opportunity to uh, start something that is just maybe even a new hobby for some of you something that's new that's fun that's exciting uh, you could have an opportunity for that there it's just a new beginning in that area of your life so it's uh, work it's uh, fun, adventure, it's anything, travel. So these are just general reads. Just take whatever applies in your situation. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the tower in the reverse position, indicating that a threat passes you by for some reason. There could have been a situation that was brewing, could have been bubbling up last week or even over the last month. And now you see that the threat is passing you by. It could have been a situation that could have been explosive. Now, sometimes when the tower in reverse comes up, it could be anything from... Um, you know, a, a small situation to a huge situation. Remember, when the tower is in the upright position, it can point to something coming out of the blue, something we did not see coming. It could be anything from uh, a verbal explosion to, you know, a leak in the roof that turns into a major problem to a major vehicle problem when we're traveling. It could be anything like that. But it could also be some other type of situation that could be disastrous, such as in, that plays out in your your relationship, your family, your work situation. But whatever it is, it looks like the um, the disaster has been averted somehow. Now, sometimes it's you yourself take measures and turns it around because you see it coming. Sometimes it can be where... Uh, someone else intervenes and turns it around for you. It can sometimes represent that the universe just, you know, helps you to sidestep something that could have been a pretty disastrous problem or even a, a serious inconvenience. But whatever this is, it seems to set you free because this the Eight of Swords is here in the reverse position, in the upright position. This points to feeling trapped in something and not being able to get out, see our way out. Now, this could be in anything. A lot of times people get themselves trapped in financial situations. And this could be a release of that. Maybe that's what the disaster was about for some of you. Could have been heading down a road of, you know, financial, serious financial crunch. And it was averted. And this helps to set you free so you don't feel so locked in or so hemmed in with the situation. You finally see an escape route. See, the Eight of Swords in reverse represents to me an escape route. It's like you finally see your way out and you start moving in that direction. Now... Moving on towards the weekend, we have potential here to be careful for some drama to uh, pop out of nowhere. Sometimes the Five of Wands, I call it um, Full Moon Madness card. This, uh, And the reason I'll explain to you why I call it Full Moon Madness is the week before the full moon, I noticed that situations tend to be way more dramatic, way more intense just before the full moon. When the actual full moon comes and the day after, everything seems to be somewhat diffused. And um, and then nobody cares about it anymore. So that's when it ends up 
in the reverse. So I say, why go through the drama? Unless it's you yourself, that sometimes it's we ourselves are the ones causing the drama. But if it's not you and it's just other people dragging you into the drama, I always suggest uh, remove yourself from it so you don't have to, you know, be a part of it because it's a waste of time, waste of energy. And it usually mounts to nothing anyway. And sometimes this can simply just represent stiff competition, which may apply in your situation if you are in a competitive field or you're competing for a promotion you know competing for a job or something like that there could be some stiff competition around the last card you have is six of swords in the upright position pointing to removing yourself from the emotional difficulties of the past you're ready to move on here leo you just want to leave the emotional difficulties behind so it could be that for some of you you know the drama breaks out and you just don't want any part of it you just decide to move on from it uh, for others of you you could be literally moving moving homes moving offices moving jobs um, you could be physically traveling you could, it is weekend energy maybe some of you are going on a trip or you could be going somewhere to scout out places maybe to settle in to live and to work uh, let us know in the comment section below um, what's going on here because it seems like you do have an opportunity and you're aware of it and uh, it's something you want to move towards since you got released from something that was oppressive you're like hey maybe I'm going to move on towards this so let us know I hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe thank you so much for joining me have a fantastic week bye bye for now